last but not least, our Undergraduate Advocate Award. And so this evening, I have the pleasure of co-presenting this award with Dr. Chris Egan. Uh, Dr. Egan is the Associate Dean of the Fulton Liberal School of Arts, um, and she will be co-presenting with me to present our very first Will Freed Undergraduate Outstanding Advocate Award. So I'd like to tell you all a few things about our friend and colleague and advocate, Will Freed, so you can understand why we would name an advocacy award in his honor. So Will Freed currently is a master's student in higher education and student affairs at Fort Hayes State University in Kansas and is a graduate assistant in the Accessibility Services Office. He graduated from SU Magnum Cum Laude this past May 2020 with a bachelor's degree in conflict analysis and dispute resolution. During his time at SU, Will served as president of the Delta Alpha Phi Disability Honor Society, president of the Hillel Club, director of diversity and inclusion for the Residence Hall Association and intramural supervisor for campus recreation. He helped educate professors about disability pedagogy strategies and advocated for the student-centered space in Blackwell Hall. Outside of campus, Will interned for international disability advocacy organizations and the city of Salisbury. He is the co-founder of the Equal Access Advocacy Collective and serves on six advocacy committees. Will earned a Tosh Conference Presentation First Place Award, the SU President's Diversity Award, the AK Talbot Award for Civil Rights and Community Advocacy, and a Coin of Honor from Salisbury Mayor Mike Jay. Will presents around the country about disability advocacy, transfer transformational leadership, and athletic coaching. Thank you so much for being a shining star and advocate, Will Freed. Yeah, um, yeah thank you um, all for, um, for what you have done. Um, I prepared a speech for you all for this evening. Good evening, Siegel Nation. How are you all doing today? I want to thank you so much for inviting me here today to speak and for naming the Wilfried Undergraduate Disability Advocate Award in my honor to promote the inclusivity and accessibility work that undergraduate students accomplish at Salisbury University. As I reflect on my time as a student at Salisbury University, I appreciate the time I spent as a student advocate I was able to work alongside other student advocates to help establish a disability center space in the Center for Equity, Justice, and Inclusion. In the process, we were able to educate those across the campus about being more inclusive for students with disabilities and standing in solidarity with the campus disability population. When I came to Salisbury University, I saw that students with disabilities were not advocating for themselves, and I wanted to fill that gap and to help create a sustainable path that would help students with disabilities succeed in college and beyond. During my undergraduate years at Salisbury University, my colleagues and I made huge strides by starting a chapter of Delta Alpha Pi Disability Honor Society, initiating disability awareness panels establishing an undergraduate peer mentoring program, and helping students with disabilities access the workforce recruitment program to obtain jobs and internships in the government. We have come a long way together as a campus community as we create more opportunities for students with disabilities, but change will not come overnight, and we must keep up our vigilance. Many other advocates are to be commended, who I'm inspired by. Ed Roberts, Judy Human, and the late Stacy Park Milburn. 
These are exceptional individuals who have created positive change for the long-term success of the disability community. Ed Roberts was known for his work in being one of the first college students with a disability at University of California, Berkeley during the 1960s. Judy Human was known for her work with the Section 504 sit-in to ensure that federal buildings would become accessible. Stacy Park Milburn was known for starting the disability justice movement in 2005 to support people with disabilities who are BIPOC, LGBTQ, have mental health conditions, or are homeless. All of their hard work pushes us as a united community to work more passionately for accessibility to a valuable and enriching college education and future career for those with disabilities. The time has come for all of us to embrace the profound concept which disability studies scholar Dr. S Dr. Allison Kafer coined the concept called crip time. That the clock needs to adjust to how the bodies of people with disabilities are processed and not the other way around. Clearly, we need to learn to embrace the exceptional attributes of individuals with disabilities. Kafer writes, one of the gifts of disability and moving on crip time slowly is that we notice things that people moving quickly typically miss. Another value is that more people are able to remain active for the long haul. As a community, we must stand in solidarity for the disability community and act on what Ed Roberts said, that it is time to just go out there and change the old attitudes for the benefit of not just those with disabilities, but for the entire community and society as a whole. Thank you. Thank you, Will.